What's up, guys? This is the Rifle Man, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, uh, we've been slowly advancing our cause against the uh, the British and the Prussians in Europe, and just otherwise developing our economy. Um, so we are going to hit the end turn button now. One thing I do want to do is probably when this army here in Boston is done, I'm probably going to want to make them mount up, head west, and take out the Plains Nations peoples. And then eventually, they're going to head south, and we're going to start um, pushing against the Mexican Empire to, to finally secure the continent for ourselves. And I'm probably going to fortify Panama rather than... one. Well, eh, I'm probably going to want to push, otherwise they will just start raiding all of my territory. So I'm probably going to want to expand the force here, advance, and then kind of fortify here. Um, I'm curious to see what these guys do. But when when this kicks off, we are going to need to jump on their fleet to prevent these guys from sailing anywhere and bottle up their access to the sea, which we do, which we can do because we do have our we have one very good fleet. We have another fleet. Well, it will be. Um, the next stages of construction next turn. And then we've got still got our trade ships and everything going on. Um, but for now, let's just hit end turn. Speed up. The British are still up and around uh, the Inuit people's territory. But what, what I want to do is I want to... Well, I'm just defending against them. I could push out an attack, but I just want to defend. So I can... Uh, so I can sort of whittle them down yeah <laughs> yes please so i can whittle them down um and slowly just i'll slowly destroy units but at the same time they will spend money trying to replenish these units which is to the benefit of us because it means they're not uh they're not reinforcing armies uh in india or on the continent itself so i think it's in our it's in our interest to make sure that while we while we defend this territory, uh, that we if we keep them alive long enough, it will it will be a drain on British resources. I mean, on the flip side, it is an army of ours that we cannot actually use because it's currently being employed uh, defensively. But I think it's effectively it's going to end the way. It's not going to be a bad ending uh, because. Well, in this case, the British have no artillery, so all they can do is try and storm the walls. So everybody is going to take position on the walls, or at least as many as possible are going to take position on the walls. Prioritising the areas with artillery. But also filling out in the middle. Yeah, that'll do. Our uh, foot artillery is pretty useless. So just keep them out of the way. Our howitzers are useful. So let's get them up and ready with carcass shots. Cavalry is not super useful. Make sure your fire will off. Get my general in. We've got two units that are going to stand by as a bit of a reserve. There we go. So, artillery from the fort has engaged. Make sure our howitzers are engaging different targets. So, carcass shot, not as good as quick line, but it'll do in a pinch. In areas where they've all clustered together like that. Militia. Yeah, we do have some fellows that are going to try and push this flank. I may put one of my reserve units up on the wall here just in case they work their way around. We can start to engage them. For the most part. Good hit. So this is clearly their main effort. 
shooting directly up to us. They have, they don't have. I, sh I mean, I, sh I should check really. They they've not got a spy in the fort to keep the gates open. If that's even a mechanic in this game. It's causing some morale issues. Let's start to retarget some of our firepower. Come on, you man, you can make ready and fire. Knock out a couple of troops at a time. Clone this mili this militia unit won't last very long. Especially once the artillery starts firing again. Yeah, that didn't do them any good. Good. So they're scaling above the wall. So they've got a foothold. Do a switcheroo because my uh, native native musket and auxiliary aren't the best unit to use for that. Oh, cock a shot real! It really did a number on these fellows. Okay, I may as well get my howitzers to switch to round shot and engage the Mount Trouble Auxiliary in the distance. Kill the last handful of fellows that made it up here. that. Make ready and fire. You guys need to recalculate what you want to do. Because yeah, as soon as these guys pop up onto the wall, units either side want to try and engage along the fire step rather than actually just carrying on doing what they're doing. Howitzers. My car can shot at 40 seconds. They got a handful of those, the eighth. But yes, try and hit the 40 second. Excellent. That's the end of them. Back to round shot, pound the tribal auxiliary. The militia has come back. Well, I don't think they're going to be. No, the 51st didn't like it. Now the 15th is starting to get picked up. Oh, they want to charge up these ropes. They're down to less than half strength. Yeah, it does not take them much to make them waver. Nice, nice, nice. Ultimately, when all the infantry is routed, the enemy will break off. Oh, the bowmen auxiliary that worst. They were sat back. Um sat back in stealth, they've decided actually, no, that's a bad idea. Actually, I suppose we should focus on the enemy infantry, because once the infantry are gone, no, crap, is over. Shattered, broken. Hmm, not a very good start, is it, your lordship? So you were getting hit by artillery fire.
Colors are still flying brightly though. Attack's still going in. Not oh, anymore. Here's the carcass shot. Some hits against the 37th. The bowmen, I think they've escaped the worst of it. So there, as they start to push along, they're going to experience some pain and misery. Killed some American mercenaries. Excellent shot, sir. Yeah, that's the end of that. I think it takes a few seconds for them to work it out. But until that happens, well, they've probably got somebody. I was going to say they weren't. They might have somebody um, stealthed. There we go. Now we're going to start to pick off the general's bodyguard. Although he's being engaged from the city walls, so... Ah, yes, there is someone hidden here, because I'm seeing some bodies show up. I imagine they, they might not commit until... The other units have fled the field because there's a chance that these guys come back. If I had to guess, like that, that would be my assumption of what they're planning on doing. Okay, there goes the general's bodyguard. I don't think the tribal auxiliary can they dismount. Oh, okay, no, they have. Okay, so they have worked out. It's a bad idea. Good. So it might take a bit of time for the AI to do that, but yeah, they do eventually realise that you know what, we can't actually win this because we can't get in. So that's the end of the battle. Nice. So they killed one guy. <laughs> we killed nineteen of our own. That's right. Go on, reconstitute your forces and come in again. Our supply lines are good. We've got plenty of ammunition. Yeah, the Indians are the wild card. Yeah, that sloop is done for. Sorry, my lads. Uh, yes, I do want to intercept them because I want to draw them towards me. So it's only this force and this force. Not this army, unfortunately, but yep. Let's do it, because we need to take Ceylon, get it uh, turned around as quickly as possible, and then start pouring troops onto the east coast of India. This army needs to turn around, be turned around and be immediately um, shipped up to help. Probably we're going to end up attacking towards Calcutta. There we go, let's man our defensive positions. American Mercenaries are going to be in the centre. We're going to force them to... Force them to uh, be bottlenecked into a number of these fighter areas. Let's put some Marines here. Let's get an auxiliary, then probably put two line infantry back here. Two more units of line cover the right flank, plus our spare marine unit. Speaking of, let's actually have a good look at our... Our marines look exactly the same as everyone else's marines, but by god they're glorious. My native uh, warrior auxiliary going to be standing by on the, on the uh, right flank. Cressier and Light split them up. Cressier. There's some on the right. General in the centre. I mean, I'm kind of assuming we don't get screwed over by deployment here, but let's find out. You're deployed. 
spare 12 pounder foot unit you can probably try and go here I guess <laughs> classic take a marine unit and bring it over here as well actually, you better stay inside actually you might get caught out otherwise good my artillery is already engaging enemy lancers Okay. I'm gonna catch some of our guys out of position. And my main thing was I wanted my marines. There's a bit of a breakwater. Towards the enemy. Got plenty of foot artillery to engage these men. They were engaging their their twelve pounders. There, shattered. I can bring my skirmishes out now. Yeah, advance my native warriors up. Hammer the Hindu musketeers. This this unit to the rear. You guys can keep engaging the twelve pounders. out just a little bit more. Excellent, we've seen off one Hindu warrior unit. Here comes the unit of musketeers. <laughs> this unit canister shot, engage the musketeers. Colonial lights engage the lancers. Canister shot the Bargier infantry. Actually, no, you guys hold back. Curacier smack the Maratha light infantry. Kill them! Kill them all! I don't normally see the Maratha light infantry, that's it's good to see them. But they will suffer! Light infantry versus heavy cavalry. It's a good combination. Try shatter them. Very good. Pull you guys back. Push everyone else forward. The 
my infantry have advanced at just enough to not incur our wrath. Perhaps yes, yeah, storm in. Engage the light infantry. That means these units can specifically deploy against the enemy threat here. Chase after that Bajir Light Infantry unit. Push up my my cuirassier up on the right flank here. These guys are going to get absolutely shredded. <laughs> yep, yeah, steady for now. Get my general into the action. Oh, my artillery round shot the boot artillery to the rear. How it says engage the light infantry. Cut them down. Off a bit, get some more muskets into the fight. Yeah, they have fire by rank. But they can't stand against us one for one. Ooh, look at the enemy Sipahi. Foot artillery engage their artillery, howitzers engage their heavy cavalry. Good. Good, good, good. Bring everyone back. Killing. Kill. Kill. Especially these fellows, they're slightly elite. Mm, this QRC, yeah, very elite. Don't give a damn what anyone thinks. Six guys, twenty-four, twenty-two. Ah, oh, yes, here comes Sipani first. There, they are what's preventing my general from getting involved. Yeah, they're broken. The infantry's broken. Just make all the artillery engage the Sipahi. My general's going to come forward and attack the Hindu musketeers. You're still going after, even though you're very close to the artillery, you're still very close. You're still trying to kill those chaps. I mean, these guys were kind of, they didn't, it didn't help when they ran, they all got kind of stuck on a basket. Artillery, all of you ceasefire. And let's just begin the harvesting process. So you may have to run along in front of the guns and then charge away from them. And right, we're going to continue. Now 
they escaped. It's all up to my general now. Unless I get you guys over here. Try not to run into the stakes. You will you would. Okay, so all of the cavalry. My general should have a bit better pathfinding now. Usually if you deploy them as a big clump but not grouped, pathfinding to chase guys down seems to improve dramatically. I suppose because it can kind of assign who's going to be doing what a bit more efficiently rather than trying to say go after this one, no go after this one, but this one, but this one, but this one. But there we go. But we still have our foothold um, in India. I mean, I could do with re, re, re replenishing my um, replenishing my or well, repairing the uh, government building, so I can just keep recruiting troops. Because I'm, I'm going to need every turn just recruit more guys, more guys, condense what I've got, more guys. And then eventually, I'll reach a point where I'll stop having to condense units together. And instead, I will be gaining units. 81,000. Okay, first of all, India. The repair. You're in a very iffy place. If they come after us, we might be in trouble. Belize down here in Ceylon. We move and take the city. So we'll, we'll bring in these troops to the south, but I'm effectively going to demand the surrender of the territory. So it, it briefly flashed up there, but technically we won if we were just doing a long campaign, and that's a victory. But you know me, we do this properly. So first of all, I want to make sure I'm getting my construction and so on done. So this army, I mean, you are my... You're going to be responding to any emergencies that develop. You're a garrison force. You are a garrison force. Lots of garrison forces. Um, may well send you... Gonzalo Franco. Embark you aboard ship. Start to position... It, could, it might be fast. It might be fast to actually put them in there. And then make them run up themselves. Then get this sloop over here. Still got a lot of industry and things that can be built. Let's upgrade the artillery production in Caracas in case we need it. The advent of steam power has still dramatically impacted our economy. So let's get a few more industrial buildings built. Not necessarily worried about the where. Let's then here at Yorktown. Build Admiral's flagship. Command your fleet up here in the north. Our armies are pretty good. Let's just put this ship in the fleet here. So this sloop can. Who's in there? Oh god alive. I was supposed to say, who's in there? No, there's a big old fleet in there. So let's bottle them up with our big fleet. The sloop. Well, first of all, the militiamen go into Belfast. Let's take fourth ray and put them in Waterford for now. Waterford needs repairs. Sloop get into Glasgow. So this could be a two-parter. Do we end up attacking the garrison, attacking the troop station near Liverpool, destroying them, and force this? Navy to put to sea. 
it's incredibly damaged, but it's a it's got a lot of heavy hitters in it. Okay, so you men are going to put in for repairs. I'm going to stack the deck. Bring you guys up because you want to make sure we squash that fleet entirely. There's the victory. So can you leave Edinburgh? You can just. We're still replenishing though, so we're not going to want to do much. Although, eh, we've spent all our. Okay, let's. Cancel the repair of the ships. Although we need, we do need money. Okay, I might actually do that next turn. So I do want some these things to be repaired. I spend too much money on my economy fundamentally. Um, but you're going to go after. I don't know what, what I could try and do. Actually, is it say I mean they they probably won't go for it. But if I try and make peace with the Marathas, yeah. Unsurprising, because the plan was if I could take Ceylon, I could focus on destroying Calcutta and consolidating my position. Um, as it is, I cannot. So I'll take this army out and engage these troops stationed in the corner. And then we'll go back and attack the one stationed to the south. And then Ceylon will be secured and then we can just churn out troops. Just keep churning them out. And deploying them north. Because we've got a lot of British troops out there to contend with. And there's not a huge amount we can do about it. Okay, everybody except my marine contingent. I'm going to form a line and advance. My marines are going to be waiting to see what the best utilisation their efforts will be. Let's group you guys together. Okay, the howitzers. Engage from where you are. The best, the better artillery position really is here. So get to here and form up my line. Begin advancing. Push my cursier up here, push my cursier up here. Mortars are engaging their mortars, but I may actually get them to hit the Hindu musketeers. Just give them orders to keep advancing. My artillery will soon be in position. Their reinforcements are quite far away. There's the city of Ceylon in the background, which they are advancing from. Oh no, that must be the port town. Ceylon would be over, would be way back over there somewhere. Engage the Sabahi. Give them some infantry support. Yeah, they might win off the back because they've got a. Because they are charge, charging. Uh, they are Lancer cavalry, so I would expect their damage off the, st the start to be pretty devastating. But my infantry will help balance the line. Yeah, they're squashing us.
Boris crashed into the enemy line. Don't need to worry about my reinforcements just yet. My artillery will pound each individual unit. My QRC are very vulnerable. The native war auxiliary is going to start hacking them down. is going to charge off against us. Advance you up on the flank. Yeah, that is my power to park the shot mode. That Hindu musketeer unit collapsed. Human advance is onto the flank. And the Kyosia are going to go after the, the general's bodyguard. Okay, right. Storm up and take the high ground. Artillery engage targets to the rear. Howitzers switched to round shot. Yeah, this battle's still ongoing. But they have been overwhelmed by a tide of Grand Colombian troops. They run my light cavalry out of the way because they're going to get engaged by musket fire. Yeah, we're tipping the balance against the general's bodyguard. Keep fighting. Kill the general. He's in there somewhere. Got him. Run. Run the light cavalry on the back to engage the light infantry. We're being pursued by Hindu warriors. Push my infantry up because you don't really have a choice, you have to force them to give battle. Keep my light cavalry on the move. Good, good hit, just ploughed straight into the enemy concentration. Bring my light cavalry back to lure their melee uh, troops back towards me. You men can push the flank, but fundamentally these guys are knackered. Advance. Make sure my 23 Curacier are ready to jump in. Ceasefire the artillery. The light cavalry is going to smack into these mercenaries, into these um, skirmishes. This cavalry is going to sit here waiting for the 29th to break. Excellent. Killing the Bajir infantry. Now you're probably not going to kill that unit, but you can chase them down. Come on, men, you should break. Excellent. Run away! Fire it will on. 
chase them away. Okay, you're still chasing them down. You're still chasing them down. Kill them! Kill them all! Can one of you go over here? One of you go over here? These guys, they're, 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 in, they're, they're flirting with the edge of the map. are gonna make it. Yeah, there we go. So now it's everybody on these fellas. Although they are very spread out. Yeah, there's some over there, some over here. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna be killed. Well, not entirely. They're going to flee. They are shattered, but I am... Even, my understanding is shattered... Even though shattered can mean that they won't come back, uh, a lot of the time they kind of feel like they actually do come back. So go back to Ceylon. You have not secured the city yet, but the... You haven't secured the island yet, but you, the city is secure. And that's not terrible. Okay, let's hit end turn. They're coming back, they want some more, do they? Well, money they spend there is isn't is money they're not spending in India. And they'll be especially buggered when we push south and take London. Which, granted, it is taking a bit long. But don't worry, as soon as we get Ceylon up and running, we'll be grand. Right, right, right. A bit of coffee. Nope. Mm. Enemies of Britain. Not so interested interested in making an enemy of Russia at the moment. I mean, if you want to take St. Petersburg, though, that's fine. If they want to. If they push into Russia, that's fine. I'm not after. I'm not interested in Sweden. Sixty-eight thousand. Excellent. Um, okay, right. Let's try and do company troops, sepoy troops. Because even though there is a limit, how many sepoys we can actually recruit? Just something like that. Just so they can perpetually be recruiting troops. And then here, let's send a portion of the army. Pressing the wrong damn button. Go north and just deal with them. And then you guys go after Candy and just deal with them. Right, so you men complete your replenishment. Same with you guys. Let's get a light cavalry down to Colombo and boot them out. This is ours. Let's get building get upgrading good so then well i think we can afford a few we can afford a we've got a bit of time now start building an actual army here when these guys are replenished they'll ship up immediately that will that will immediately yeah may as well replenish you actually we, that will immediately um, stem the tide, so to speak. These guys, I mean, you're going <laughs> to slowly, you're getting better every turn. That's fine. Improved coppering. You've gone on with top gallants. That's fine. Move 
in this, get an iron workshop. Port Royal, get a governor's palace. Okay, I want to keep about 10 grand to deal with... Well, to begin my push towards uh, London. 11 will do. I mean, London is not occupied. You may push down right down there and threaten the city itself. You're not going to be getting in there. And then you, Sebastian Serrano, are going to attack Ashley Dennison. Oh, there's an extra army that's come in from somewhere else. Oh, there's actually... Ah, there's actually a little cluster of troops. Meh, we'll be grand, I hope. We've still got quite an elite collection of troops here. And it will probably be fine. Probably be fine. We may take some losses, but we all effectively have uh, gutted the British force, the only British force left on the, the islands themselves, to defend them. And they're not defending London, they're providing protection to one of their fleets. But yeah, we can... Well, we're going to want to stay, even though we're attacking, we're going to want to stay defensive and we're going to want to be sneaky with our cavalry. Deploy our troops. Something like this. Put some infantry on our flanks, like so. And then we got. Oh no, I want my uh, line infantry near the guns. Frontiersmen can hold the flanks, that's fine. Some infantry in reserve. Now it says popping off shots. Horse artillery. Popping off shots. And my dragoons and light cavalry are going to likely end up pushing around the enemy. This may well be a bad. Ooh! Using shrapnel shot. And they're using quick climb. Right, no choice. Advance. Power shots. Fire carcass shot. Focus on these artillery batteries. Force artillery. Limber up. Grenadiers get out on the flank. Well, no, no, not probably not massively on the flank, but we are, we're going to want to push the flank chiefly. Here comes carcass shot. That should have thinned out their crews somewhat. You men are going to actually push the right. Oh, good quick climb here. New men hold firm in the center. These units advance and begin lashing shrapnel shot into the enemy artillery positions. Cruise, but I think actually you and you're going to end up engaging their infantry block to the rear. You may engage the British Grenadier Guards. 
Everyone form in square. Here come the lifeguards. Okay, Kalka shot. Focus on. Focus on. Uh, focus hard on that flank. Where's my horse artillery? Let's get you up here. Killed the enemy general. Yep, you're holding your square mightily well. You fall back because they've got cavalry pushing in. I don't want to commit my. Okay, I can commit more troops in there now. Now their artillery is vulnerable. Keep my colonial, keep my frontiersmen safe. Fire will off. Excellent. Push up. These units that have taken over battering from enemy artillery will get their ding. We'll, we'll get their. Uh, they'll get their own back. The horse guards are pushing in again, so you can fire at will. You don't fire at will. Keep holding the square. Cease fire. Keep hitting them with carcass shot. My light, I mean, these are only dragoons against colonial. against a. Uh, Horse guards. But they're better than nothing. More carcass shot coming in. It's, it's having a an effect. Okay, my light dragoons. Push for... Uh, not against the light hussars? I don't think so. But let's... Begin to solidify our right flank. Okay, let's begin. Begin shifting units like so. British fusiliers are charging in, and so are their heavy. So is their heavy cavalry. You men storm the fusiliers. Dangerous game charging so close to enemy defences like this. Square. Destroy the enemy artillery. We need to loop around these defenses. Ignore the general's bodyguard. We're going to lose some fellows, but we need to take the risk. We need to get in against those hussars. center of the British formation is crumbling. Swiss mountain jaegers are falling back. Ooh, that's a nuclear quickline they dropped. Get 
getting my skirmishes out of their form up. But I think it's not worked in their favour. Now let's just both smack that unit of line infantry. These troops advance, secure the enemy position. Aha, they've come back, or they want to come back. In my cavalry, it came back. Some of my troops are running, so let's get my... Cavalry out of the way. Frontiersmen fire at will. There we go, they've been defeated. Oh, it's Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Pulling back for the most part. Most of my artillery can limber up. Yeah, need to limber up most of my artillery so I can get it where it needs to be. Here we go, SARS, Marines. Straight up. For the most part, you should invade the stakes. Draw my cavalry. want my frontiersmen on the flank but oh no they want my light cavalry very well run over here run, lead the dragoons away them when you have no no alternative. There we go, the sick foot guards, the black watch. Some of these gunners to do the good work. 
you then push up and fire into the advancing infantry's flank. We might focus on the uh, focus on the Black Watch because they're the, they are the more dangerous unit. coming in back here. Ferguson Riflemen advancing at point blank the point blank range. Here's the horse ground air guards because they are the biggest troublemaker and the most difficult one to engage. Seen off the riflemen. Switched around, Shah engage. A block of fusars coming in. Black watcher getting picked off. to shot the horse ground air guards again because they interfere with my guys doing using fire by rank Alice's need to get into position and just start firing now Maybe focus the marines, they're coming in for a bayonet charge. Okay, these men fall back. Limber up the horse artillery, get ready to withdraw. Well, not not entirely withdraw, but you know. But you can probably do it. They fell back. Limber, switch to carcass shot, engage. The Marines. Did they ban it? Charged us, but we're going to run. Get my general back. Canister shot. Canister shot. Oh, it's a canister shot of the Marines. The horse artillery. They got the horse artillery. You're gonna have to do. My you're gonna have to get in. My general's gonna have to get in. Push up the flank.
Born square. Born square. <laughs> Blasting at the enemy here. Hold your dinky little squares, men. Ah, oh, lifeguards, hussars. I think I've invested too much in one blank. There's not a lot I can really do about it either. My howitzers are not able to def not able to support me. No, retreat the general. I think this flank is going to this this whole flank is going to collapse. But it's a question of how many men can they kill on the way out very well fight the dragoons mr serrano Saw off those units. Can you men just hold the little square that you can. Oh, who's that? Sebastian Serrano, you're gonna have to go. Smash the fusiliers on your own. We've not got the firepower to face them both. Try to recover my howitzers. You are a brave general, Mr. Serrano. You've done very well. Oh, they're reloading! Lifeguards, engineers. Uh, the Hussars have got into the. Oh, my skirmishers have no ammunition left. They're here to look scary. Get back over here, Mr. Serrano. Hit those Hussars, they're the most dangerous. Kill those howitzer crewmen. Run right into them. Kill the Hussars. The Excellent there, shattered. Bring Mr. Serrano back. There go the Marines. You have no, <laughs> no ammunition either, so. Some kind of Mexican standoff. Engineers, lifeguards, hussars coming in. Engage the hussars with the canister shot. Round shot, engage the lifeguards. They're running the wrong way. No, oh, they're after my foot artillery crew. Canister shot! So who's back here? Mortars and a howitzer. Okay, this could actually work. Oh. 
engage the horse guards. We've got almost no ammunition left across the board. Howitzers are still just random infantry over there are still shooting at me. That's what'll actually that's what'll actually kill me. Not the actual infantry, not the actual artillery running around, but the fact that these guys can shoot quicklime. Engage the lifeguards with canister shot. Here they come. There they go. Let's go get that mortar battery. I mean. They might come back. Fall back. Everyone else has to stay alive just as a bullet sponge to allow my artillery to do their job. Dicey, 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 dicey. I think Sebastian Serrano's days are numbered. You're just tired. If I can kill these guys and run around. If I can kill these guys quickly and run away, they're more tired than I am. So I can... Come on. Oh no, my artillery's gonna, gonna screw me. Oh, my artillery. No, this is gonna be so close. The function of my infantry is to stay alive. Oh no, he's alive. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We can make this work. Okay, my artillery. Engage the horse guards. Start picking them off. Their infantry is particularly interested in my general. Switch to canister shot. Begin hammering the engineers. Okay, don't switch to canister shot. Switch to round shot and begin hitting the horse cut. Be careful. We're down to three men. You're the only troops with any ammunition. Switch to canister shot. Engage the engineers. So their whole thing is can they stay alive long enough? Fortunately, they have advanced into the sights of the 14th Regiment who have ammo. Round shot. Engage the horse guards. Oh, 
hold your fire. Engage. Oh, you got some ammo. You did have. Run in. You men all jump on the horse guards, including my general. Now's the time. They're going for my general. They're aware of the vulnerability of him, the critical nature of my general. Artillery ceasefire. to them oh that's like the tightest battle i've fought in so long <laughs> they're a victory very much agreed but a victory nonetheless Woo. yes we lost lost a lot of guys oh excellent job so we broke the <laughs> We broke their strength. Oh, so we pushed on immediately and evicted their ships from uh, from harbour. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time. It's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Grand Columbia. And these guys need some money spent on them. Woo! Cheers, guys. See you around.